A very warm welcome to Daily Dispatch, powered by HSBC. I'm Priya Sheet, and joining me on this conversation is Gaurav Khatri from Noise. Thank you very much, Gaurav, for joining us today. You know, the wearables market has seen a huge boom over the last couple of months. People are getting more health conscious, and wearables segment has exponentially grown. So, tell us a little bit about what the adoption has been for Noise uh, over the last couple of months. So honestly, uh, first of all, thank you, Bria. Uh, thank you for having us here. Uh, honestly, when we talk about wearable as a segment, honestly, the industry has grown phenomenally well. Uh, we being there already in the industry from last couple of years uh, uh, with the right offering has given us the growth as well. So currently, if you talk about noise, uh, in comparison to last year, noise would have grown almost to 40 odd percent uh in, in the overall business scenario out of that i think primary uh, or the major sales have come from uh, the wearable market which is approximately 70 percent of the overall sales right uh, tell us a little bit about uh, you know what the plan is going forward because what would be your key areas of focus in 2022 see honestly uh the, the area for growth in 2022 for us, honestly, still lies with the wearable and audio category both and uh, touch would be have been doing really well. So now is noise is already number one uh, smart wearable brand, uh, smart watch brand rather uh, in India. So every fourth uh, watch that is selling in country is currently noise watch. Uh, along with that, so audio is going to be again one of the very big uh, lever for our growth along with the wearable. So in, in we are expecting this year to be, you know, almost 850 odd crores net revenue. Uh, the overall GMV would be north of uh, 1200, 1400 crores. Expecting it to be 2x for uh, 2022. And the growth would, of course, come from these two uh, categories primarily only. But of course, a lot of expansion in terms of different geographies and uh, mode of businesses like offline is a small portion of our business at this point of time. We would be spending that as well and uh, maybe a couple of uh, other innovations that we are trying to bring in the categories. Right. Actually, that was my next question in terms of what kind of uh, offline expansion are you looking at? Because when you look at the whole uh, market at this point in time, it's largely governed by online sales. Um, True. So, And when you look at the offline expansion per se, tell us a little bit about, you know, uh, which areas are you looking at? Are you looking at collaborations in the market? How would you look at improving your offline presence? See, all of it would happen, uh, Priya. All of it would be uh, part of our journey. Uh, when we say offline, of course, currently uh, we are around available in what four to 6,000 odd stores. The GT is very small portion of our overall sales. We have started collaborating with the uh, smaller and mid level of LFRs also. So, so far, honestly, it will be the first level of growth would be coming from the partnerships, which are the all already available offline partners or the GT partners or the retailers. Uh, those associations will be the first thing because those are the low hanging fruit for us. Uh, but post that, of course, we will look around to have our own experience centers for, for a couple of locations. So this is, this is a small journey that we are trying to take. Uh, of course, the category that we are in, uh, so the number says that we it, it is being sold more or less uh, around 70 odd percent online but uh, with the global market what we have seen you know it is more or less 50 50 market so we are expecting that market to grow very very fast and hence uh, we should be uh, taking that pie as well right uh, Gaurav there's news that uh... Uh, Titan is looking at uh, acquiring <laughs> noise uh, and I can't let you go without asking you that question because when you look at collaborations and offline presence, uh, what better partner? See, honestly, uh, all those news are, uh, I mean, rumors. I'm not sure how true they are and how they have come out. But anyways, uh, but when we talk about associations, these are primarily the, uh, the retail chain partners that I'm talking about. Right. Uh, but would you be open to some um, acquisition of such uh, magnitude? Because, you know, it's one thing to be uh, open to it and one thing for it to make sense. So, uh, you know, I want to ask you that question. Would you be open if there is a, a, a larger company that's coming to you uh, uh, and offering uh, you to uh, to take? Honestly, it's very hard to comment at this point of time. Uh, you can't be open and you can't be close. 
it depends upon opportunity to opportunity so very hard to comment on with this right now right uh, uh, okay god i also want to talk a little bit about uh, other categories of expansion like you are briefly alluding to so which are the other categories that you are looking at uh, expanding into see uh, connect currently we are into a connected lifestyle ecosystem right there are a lot of categories that are itself part of this uh, ecosystem and the sub categories of the category that we are currently doing so audio is something that has to go deep dived into which noise has not done so far so we are working very very aggressively towards that uh, one of the very interesting category that we are working very aggressively is uh, and should be out soon is is uh, related to ivrs so that is uh, that is also something that we are working on and of course the expansion into wearables would also be part of a different kind of uh, operated watches that we would be working on all right gaurav uh, we wish you all the very best in your journey going forward and uh, uh, you know we really wish uh, that you achieve all the kind of goals and ambitions that you set for yourself uh, going forward thank you so much for joining us today it's really been a pleasure speaking with you thanks for your time same here same here thank you so much for having me priya